Hey there YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time we're going to paint a Legion Lesser War Beast, the um, Stinger. This guy is my new favorite, just because against hordes he's really effective. His tail has a poisonous barb, so on a charge you can roll four dice. Oh no. Roll four dice against living model. Only living though. And it wipes out his body, but anyone that plays Legion knows you got that shepherd there to heal. Anyway, so um, we're going to paint him purple. We're going to paint him purple because I absolutely love this purple. Uh, Xerius purple from Citadel. It's beautiful. It's, it goes on silky smooth. It's amazing. So good. Um, we're going to paint him purple on his fleshy parts. Um, the hard scaly parts on top are going to go to brown with a highlight of flesh color. This is a, a brown wash from, uh, what is it, Reaper? I think it's Reaper MSP. Um, and I've only used it a couple times. I, I think it's okay. It looks like mud. It's not, I wouldn't really call it brown. It's like gray. Um, but it, it does a pretty good job of, of uh, setting you up for highlights. Especially with stuff like this, where he's got uh, this, these little plates. So that brown wash will go down between them, and then when you highlight the plates, they'll show up that much better. They'll have that much more definition. And you'll look that much more like you know what you're doing. I'm also going to use, um, this is just regular pure white. Um, I'm going to use that on his teeth, and of course to make white, like make colors whiter. And black, same same thing opposite. We're going to use black to make everything darker, create more shadows. Uh, this is Murderous Magenta, which is my favorite paint name color ever. P3 Paints. Um, I've only used a couple of them. This one and the uh, pink, um, what is it, Carnal Pink. And I have to say they are not my favorite. The paint itself is pretty good. It's smooth, but it's really transparent. And... I don't know if, see, this has like little crumbly stuff on it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. It's a legion color or what. The other thing I don't like about this is that the tubs are tall. This happened when I was pushing the cap on and the whole thing went So, yeah, had a big spill. Um, whereas with stuff like this, that doesn't happen. In fact, Reaper, the, the holes are so small that you can... It only a tiny bit comes out at once. So you don't overuse your paint. You always use the exact right amount. But anyway, we're going to use this for the gums only. So barely any at all. And that's it. Let's get started. We're going to start, as always, with the base coat. Um, in this case, it's going to be the purple, of course. But... Um, it's always important to have a plan when you start painting. Which is why my painting is usually mediocre. A poor planner. Um, they, they, them, they don't recommend that you paint directly from the pot. I do often, but I won't. I'll try to set a good example. So we're going to use that purple. I'm going to put some black on here. Now what we're going to do is start with with the base. You want it to be darker than the colors you're going to put on top of it, okay? So we're going to make this nice uh, purpley black kind of color. And we're going to start here. Doesn't really matter where you start. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the sting on the end of the tail, but we'll figure it out. Um, I don't know if this will show up on here, but there's a little bit of uh, yellow here in the cracks. Because I, and I never recommend this, I started painting him yellow. I, I was going to make him 
yellow with purple polka dots. I thought it would be hilarious, A and B, I thought I could pull it off. But what ended up happening was um, my my paints were, uh, my paints were, they turned against me. I was using this Marigold from uh, Americana, which is a beautiful color. Oh, it's a really great yellow, but it goes on real, um, just kind of flaky and crumbly, and so he, he ended up looking really crusty, which, you know, maybe that'll work for you, but it's not the look I was going for on this guy. I want him to be slick. I want him to strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. Or at least they're living models. Um, I don't know how much I can tell you about the model because of uh, copyright restrictions. I know Privateer Press is pretty... They keep the lid pretty tight on their stats and stuff. But I will say that I like this little guy a lot. I haven't got to use his animus, which is just really situational. But as a as a missile, he's pretty effective. And of course, with the base coat, you want to be pretty thorough. I don't know if you can see. I'm a little out of focus there, huh? I don't know if you can see right here. There's some uh, extra metal that I didn't take off. I'm just now noticing it. Probably have to do that on my own time. Yeah. The metal came off, but I took the primer with it. It's okay, we'll wing it. I'm gonna need to re glue his foot, too. Alright, anyway. So, I've basically base coated him with that purple. He's really, really dark right now. But um, I'm going to go over it again with just the purple without any black, or just very little black. And I'm going to be less thorough. And because this is the lighter color, you don't really care too much about getting it down in the cracks like this because those are going to be in shadow anyway. But like up here and there. Here. I'm really going to need to glue him back onto his base. It's going to bother me. Come on. All right. So, um, basically that is the whole base coat. I'll go over them one more time. Um, I'll go over them once more and then come right back to you. And we're back. And what to you was like an instant to me was like 30 seconds. All right, um, here's what we're doing now. We will get a little bit of this brown. This is called milk chocolate. I need to get a higher quality brown. This is kind of super thin and just not my favorite. Um, we're going to go with this brown. We're going to mix it with the purple, which makes a really, really ugly color. Okay. Here's the idea. 
If you watched my video uh, on the Bane Thrall, I showed you how to paint a cloak. We're going to do the exact same kind of thing here. We're going to start here on top. His little spikies and his nose. I'm going to cover up that where we took off the primer. We're going to get a little low. Basically, we're going to give him a fade from that purple to brown on top. And we don't have to worry too much about that part. Let me get his feet. Other side, we have to do the same thing. Get our ugly, ugly purple brown. And, oops, too much purple, not enough brown. Like this. I'm not going to worry too much about the sting because I'm going to come back. We're going to go over it a lot of times. Okay. Can you see that? I have a hard time with this camera because it looks pretty terrible on the screen, but once I get it um, onto my computer, it looks pretty good. So I hope you can see everything I'm doing. Like that. For our next trick, we're going to do the same, but this time even more brown. Less purple, more brown. Dig it. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Starting on the top. And this time we're going to work our way down not quite as far. So the idea is each time you put a little more brown, a little less purple, and you work your way down a little less far. So this time we're going to go just brown, no purple. Try to be careful over his nostrils to not fill them with brown paint because we want them to be dark and show up. See what we did there? It's a nice fade, isn't it? Trying to be quick. I think I might be able to fit this all into one video. Yeah, probably not. I'm already at 14 minutes. I try to be quick. It's my uh, uh, YouTube tells me that most people don't spend more than a couple of minutes watching my videos which is fine I assume it's just they get the idea of what I'm doing and then turn off the video go try it for themselves more likely they see what I'm doing decide that I don't know what I'm doing and go off to watch uh, girl painting with Miss Victoria is it Victoria? oh my god or uh, one of those other like really awesome painting channels
totally understand. But I think the more the merrier, and the more different ways you can see to paint, the more you learn. Since this is just a straight brown, we can go ahead and hit his claws with it too. So, I need to really get his tail and make sure it's on. Cool. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you really quickly and kind of wrap it up. I probably won't make a second video for this. This is the flesh color. I'm going to use a tiny bit of that. Make sure my cap's on all the way. Now I'm going to do basically the opposite of what I was doing with the purple, or really exactly the same thing. We're going to mix this in with a little bit of that brown. By doing this, you, you fade. You get a better fade. It's not as great of a difference between this color and that color. It looks more natural. We're gonna... Yeah, it's better. It Maybe a little too light, actually. Basically just getting the tips, getting the top part of everything, and then this. Not bad, right? It's not finished. The next part needs to be very delicate because we're going to get these here. Little, uh, the little plates on his legs. And I'll just show you an example of how that's done. What you want to do is get your brush flat. See there's a flat, flat side. And you just want to kind of tap it on there. <clears throat> you can move it just a little bit. But by doing it this way, you're actually letting the uh, details on the model do the work for you. And of course, it's likely that you will miss spots or you'll get it where it's not supposed to be. And then depending on how dedicated you are, you can either go back and fix it or you can just leave it. Pretty lazy painter, so I'm probably just going to leave it. But we'll see, maybe I'll get bored later. Cool. So that's basically it. Um, what I am going to do is use a little more of this flesh. I think the flesh makes a great highlight against the brown. Just a little bit of this and kind of dry brush it. The 
the next thing I would do, this video is getting too long, is use this to fill in basically just the outline of his gums. There's hardly anything on this model, so I might actually just skip that step. Then we'd use the white, which I might do it anyway. Just a little bit of white. For his teeth. With that, you just want to have a delicate touch. It's another instance where you want to use the flat part of your brush. If you use too much paint, you're going to fill in the gaps between his teeth. But if you keep your brush flat, man, I'm trying to hurry. It's not working. You know, details like this is something that you just really want to take your time with. Or it looks like this. Maybe I'll just split this video in half manually. Let's see, he looks kind of mean. Let me show you. This is the other one I did. Of course, he's green. But this basically is what the finished product would look like. I did... The underside of his tail, that's just flesh color. Um, of course, he has the fireball, which I think is incredibly cheesy. Um, and I just dry brushed some blood onto his tail because that's just too cool. And I use this color. It is tomato red. And for painting blood, it is perfect. And it's shiny, and it's just really nice red. Okay, so thank you for watching this long video. I hope you learned something, and look for more in the future.